this, their structure was very sound. Um, but, I mean, they would have stood there for another hundred years. But the way, the way they were built, um, the special thing about the towers, like if you go up in this here's tower, and you were to take out all the walls on the whole floor, there's a steel, a steel beam every 10 feet. There's probably 150 steel beams per floor. That's a pain in the ass when you're designing offices, you know, and you, you, you can't have any offices bigger than 10 by 10 without having a column in the middle of the room. So, I mean, that's what makes the Sears Tower, well, pretty much indestructible. I mean, th there's a steel column every 10 feet in the, in the thing. What made the Twin Towers special, there was no columns. I mean, it was a whole, like if you were to buy a whole floor, you could have a whole floor with nothing but an elevator shaft. And there was, there was no columns in, in there. And it wasn't a bad design, but what it did is the long steel joists, when the, when the planes flew in there, they were full of gas, and they got so hot that the steel joists bent, and as soon as, you know, it, it looks like a ball rolling down a hill. As soon as it started, it, it, there was nothing on earth that was going to stop it. So it's not that they were a 